It was the biggest thing in the sky at that time. We appear like ants under its nose. This one was, was number one. Bruce Lawrenson worked as a manufacturing engineer as airlines lined up to buy 747s in 1969 and 70. It was in February of 1969 when RA-001, the plane named the City of Everett, would take to the skies for its first flight. There wasn't anything else like it in the world. And the world's airlines would buy more than 1,600 of them. Well, this is like stepping into the past. The past? <laughs> yeah. Well, the past is not entirely gone. Because they're well, still making it. They're still making it. Boeing's Everett factory continues to make the freighter version. But the current rate of just six jets per year pales when compared to those early days when it seemed like every airline was signing up. This Delta Airlines video captured one of the last domestic flights from Honolulu to LAX a few weeks ago. The airline is still using the jet on international flights to Asia for the next few months. United's last flight will take on a 1970s retro theme with old uniforms and entertainment from San Francisco to Honolulu on November 7th. They say you never forget your first flight aboard a 747. You don't realize what kind of plane you get into. You walk in and it's like, oh my, this is just quite big. Mark Douglas's seat was on the upper deck. I remember walking, getting, standing up and going, asking the stewardess, can I go for a walk? Goes, can I go downstairs? Like, downstairs on an airplane. Yeah, all right, go, go ahead. First on the flight line and then uh, in, uh, in the final assembly. RA-1 never carried passengers. It was always used for testing. I like the new airplanes. And Lawrenson says those airplanes like the Boeing 777 and the Dreamliner are a better fit for modern times, where most passengers now fly longer direct routes from one city to another and spend less time connecting through big hubs the 747 was built for. But if you fly international on airlines including Lufthansa and Korean Air, you can still catch a ride. At the Museum of Flight, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.